Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Trends International Design Awards for 2024, where we celebrate the best of the best in bathroom design throughout Australia. Our awards are brought to you in association with our sponsors, Resine and Blum, and proudly produced by Adjacent Communications, and in association with the podcast series, Now I Am Listening. To present the awards, please welcome the chairman of the judging panel, Mr. Paul Taylor. Thanks to everyone joining us today as we announce the results of the 2024 Trends International Design Awards for Australian Bathrooms, second of our TEDA Awards presentations for this year. Thanks also to everyone who entered TEDA Bathrooms, those that are regular entrants, and especially those who are new to the TEDA Awards. While we've made the entry process as quick and easy as possible, I do appreciate you allocating time to get everything together to submit online. At this stage, I'd also like to thank our TEDA Bathroom sponsors, companies whose products have a major impact on the work that designers do in bathrooms and throughout the rest of the home. So thanks to Razine and Bloom. Thanks also to the sponsor of this Tila Bathrooms presentation, Adjacent Communications. When each entry comes in, it can feel a little bit like Christmas, unwrapping each one to discover what's inside. And in that process, it's always interesting to try and identify directional design features across the various entries. This year, it's a little less clear cut. There seems to be a split between bright and airy bathrooms and those that are more dark and moody. Some of the design features identified last year are still prominent, such as curved elements. And fluted designs continue to be used on vanities, but are also being seen in basins and even bathtub design. This introduces texture to soften the space, something that's also seen in the use of wall tiles with a rumbled or handmade look in several entrants. And finally, if there's one colour that made a stronger appearance this year, it would be green. Moving on now to our awarded projects, let's start today with our highly commended entries. Congratulations to all our highly commended entrants. Watch out for full coverage of many of these projects in the Trends channels over the coming weeks. Next up, we have our category runners up. Congratulations again to the designers of the five runner-up projects. And finally today, we have our category winners. Designers who have dealt with the complexity that bathroom design often presents and produce spaces that have delighted their owners and impressed the TEDA judges. First up is Powder Room, a category that continues to see an increasing number of entrants. Winner of the 2024 Teeter Australia Powder Room of the Year is 
Sarah Nolan and Stuart Gibson of Bird Black Design. This ground floor powder room serves both the homeowners and their guests and continues the warm beige, brass and gold tones seen throughout the rest of the home. That's evident in the French vanilla marble flooring flowing in from the hallway and the walnut vanity plinth topped with its Calicutta gold basin. Covering all four walls, a mural depicts the moon and birds in flight, while the ceiling is painted with a textural gold paint. Floor to ceiling cabinetry in the truffle white veneer seen throughout the home with fluted glass on the door fronts ensures there's ample storage for the space. The Tita judges were impressed with how the space has been designed as an art piece in its own right, enhanced by the use of an architectural ceiling mounted basin spout. Congratulations to Sarah Nolan and Stuart Gibson of Bird Black Design, winner of the 2024 Tita Australia Powder Room of the Year. Our second winning project today is for the designer suite category. Winner of the 2024 Tita Australia Designer Bathroom Suite of the Year is Dominic Brasina of Dominic Carl. Spanish influences are found throughout this bathroom suite. One of the owner's favourite destinations is Granada, Spain, and in particular, the palace and fortress of Alhambra. This architectural marvel became the primary source of inspiration for the home design, though the master suite still required a degree of sophistication to suit the owner's lifestyle. Extensive use of natural stone, aged timber veneers and organic metal finishes were essential in achieving the historical and tactile feel for the spaces. These textural features enabled the palette to transition away from the warm beiges and champagnes of the bedroom to the bolder and refined design cues of the ensuite. Moorish subtleties are apparent within the selection of fabrics and decor that acknowledge the Alhambra's historical patterns. Another influence was the organic style of one of the great Spanish architects, Antony Gaudi, and can be seen in the custom furniture pieces throughout the residence. This includes the hand-designed cast iron featured bed head and frame, which became a focal point for not only the bedroom suite, but the entirety of the project. For the Tita judges, this master suite represented a unique interpretation of the owner's requirements, achieved by an impressive array of skillful design details throughout. Congratulations to Dominic Frasina of Dominic Carl, winner of the 2024 Tita Australia Designer Bathroom Suite of the Year. Moving on now to Designer Bathrooms ensuites and main bathroom projects. Winner of the 2024 Tita Australia Designer Bathroom of the Year is Sarah Nolan and Stuart Gibson of Bird Black Design. For this ensuite, the designers aims to seamlessly blend the bathroom and walkthrough row while maintaining the individuality of each within the larger space. To achieve this, a subtle yet effective curve in the flooring provides a smooth transition between the timber flooring of the robe area and the bathroom's marble flooring. This design element not only visually connects the spaces but also serves as a subtle nod to the overarching motif of the soft curves that define the entire home. Azure Roma marble is a standout feature that defines the bathroom's wet areas extending from the wall behind the bath, across the floor and up the back of the shower recess. Lighting was also a crucial aspect of the design, serving to accentuate the space's features while creating a warm and inviting ambience. Soft uplighting delicately illuminates the ceiling, enhancing the curvature of the micro-cement finish which contains real gold and silver flakes. 
The TETA judges felt that every detail in the design from the tapware to the cabinetry had been carefully selected to complement the overall sense of harmony and cohesion in the home. Congratulations to Sarah Nolan and Stuart Gibson of Bird Black Design, winner of the 2024 TETA Australia Designer Bathroom of the Year. Next up is the award for bathrooms designed by architects. Winner of the 2024 TETA Australia Architect Bathroom of the Year is McMahon and Nurlik. A full width steel window in the main suite of this warehouse inspired townhouse separates the main bedroom and its ensuite bathroom. Combined with the dramatic skylight over the bath, this adds a subtle wash of light contributing to the zen ambience throughout the space. The skylight's indirect light highlights the hanging plant, the patina of the aged bronze tapware and the textural Moroccan handmade tiles lighting the walls to create a unique bathing experience. A bespoke concrete bath was especially commissioned by the clients and complements the floor's aggregate mix of polished concrete. The vanity basins were hand cut and hand formed within the striking green stone countertop. Meanwhile, the main bedroom itself features bespoke custom textiles, especially commissioned artwork and feature wall sconce that were carefully selected by the owners from vintage designer collections. The TETA judges were impressed with how both the bathroom and bedroom combine a number of distinctive design elements to create a cohesive and relaxed sense of retreat that reminds the owners of their travels and adventures. Congratulations to McMahon and Nurlik, winner of the 2024 TETA Australia Architect Bathroom of the Year. And our final category winner today is for Architect Designed Bathroom Suite. Winner of the 2024 TETA Australia Architect Bathroom Suite of the Year is Jack Vergara. The challenge in designing this suite was to give personality to a series of formal spaces contained within a single zone that also serves as a private retreat. Accessed directly from the first floor stair lobby, the suite opens to a small kitchenette bench, giving a hotel-like experience on arrival. This then leads into the generously sized bedroom with its quirky seating and on to the separate his and hers walk-in robes. These have been individually finished to suit each owner's tastes and fitted out with a personalised range of storage requirements. Further in, the ensuite bathroom is sculptural in form with refined detailing in a rich layered material palette of Verde Alpi marble, ribbed panelling and black hexagon mosaics. Brass white Carrera marble tiles on the feature wall wrapping around the bath are also carried through to the floors. Darker onyx, handmade ribbed concrete vanity basins and a matching bathtub amplify the moody ambience created within the bathroom. The TETA judges felt the end result was a skillful blend of tactile and textural finishes that provided a subtle background to complement and highlight the architectural features of the bath and vanity. Congratulations to Jack Fugaro, winner of the 2024 TETA Australia Architect Bathroom Suite of the Year. Congratulations again to each of our category winners in the 2024 TETA Australia Bathrooms Awards. These winners now go forward into the international section of TETA to be judged again alongside winning bathrooms from the TETA New Zealand Bathroom Awards, as well as award-winning bathrooms from other countries. The winning project from that process will then be awarded the 2024 TETA International Bathroom of the Year. That's it for today. You will find full coverage of the winners, plus the other results on the TETA Australia Bathrooms page 
on trendsideas.com. Plus watch out for our e-newsletters and posts on our social media channels. Coming up next is Tita Holmes, which opens for entry next week, running through September. We're looking forward to seeing more examples of outstanding Australian home design in those entries too. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you soon for our next instalment of the Trends International Design Awards. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our ceremony today for the TIDA Bathroom Awards 2024. Thank you again to our sponsors for their ongoing support. This awards presentation is proudly produced by Adjacent Communications and in association with the podcast series, Now I Am Listening. For more information about all our award winners, visit trendsideas.com. Thank you again for watching and we will see you next time for the Trends International Design Awards.